Hi there guys, Gareth here and welcome to this Vino Plunk production. This very impromptu Vino Plunk production. So what you're looking at right now is my setup and I do apologise for some of the mess but there's a reason why all that's there. What you're looking at right now is my original Xbox booting up into its... I'm going to call this a soft mod menu. This is the evolution menu. But the reason why I call this um, the, the soft mod menu is you can get to this menu by being a soft modded. If your Xbox or your original Xbox is hard modded, it's actually a lot easier to get this menu on the Xbox. There are ways of getting this menu on the Xbox without being hard modded, which includes the original Splinter Cell and a few other bits of bobs. There are easy ways nowadays involving network cables and stuff like that but you can look up how to do that the reason why i'm shooting this video is i just bought myself a soldering iron and flux and the reason why i did that is for that thing down there that's inside that case and there will be a video on that very very soon maybe within the next couple of days i may even shoot that video uh, later on today but if i now cast your attention down to the two lights that are blinking uh, or the one light that's actually on down by on my actual Xbox if we take a little seat down here we can see that the that the mod chip that's installed on my Xbox is fully functional okay I'm going to turn my Xbox off and turn it back on again you can hear in the background the boot up noise from my stereo speakers going through my stereo system you can see all the lights blinking and flashing and all the things they're supposed to do so I'm gonna lift up my turn off my Xbox first and lift up very carefully so you can see that I've taken the top of my chip off and the reason why that is is you probably can't see this i'm going to grab a torch this is why this is impromptu if i look if you look down there you can see and actually you can actually see that it's barely hanging on if you notice here this connector here there's two connectors one is for the main mod chip that there is actually for the LEDs and not that you can see uh, but there you go it actually says there says there LED 12 and there's another LED uh, note or label somewhere on there basically what that means is this particular um, this particular connection deals with the LEDs well if I told you about half an hour ago that connector was dangling free and was not connected yeah so what i decided to do was resolder that to this board it went appallingly okay this is extremely finicky work i don't know if i can actually show you but hopefully I can maybe maybe not but the connectors if i can actually the connectors for so you can't really make it out even on camera the connectors that those connectors attached to on the board are minuscule i would go and get my soldering iron and show you how big the tip is con compared to those small little components there or, or small little connectors there but it was a pain in the ass um you can't see hang on you can't see very well but i actually burnt myself i burnt myself there I've definitely got blisters forming. Um, it was a, you know, a really bad kind of a shit show. However, so that always comes up. That always came up. The executor for my Xbox, and that is from that chip. Basically, when you solder or attach that chip to the motherboard, it basically um, flashes to the BIOS almost that thing that comes up at the beginning. Oh, fun, fun little fact, actually, if people didn't know this. If I reboot the Xbox, 
this whole intro is actually rendered inside the Xbox's graphics chip. The reason why we now know that is because when you play Xbox games on the Xbox, original Xbox, Xbox One S or the Xbox One X, depending on what version you're playing on, that intro is actually in better quality depending on what console you play on because it's rendered using the inbuilt chip of the various Xboxes. So if you've got an Xbox One X, you get the best version of that intro you could get. Interesting information. Anyway, the reason why that's interesting information is other consoles, like the console that's in there, uh, it's a pre-rendered um, scene, basically, that they just load in, flash into the motherboard somewhere and it just loads every single time. Whereas some consoles, like the Xbox, it renders that real time as it's going through the boot up boot up routine um but yes i am actually really happy i managed to get that working yes it's just an led light but it's nice to have a nice light lighting up from the front now i've just got to find the cover for that chip and i can stick it back on and we can go from there but i just want to do a quick video saying that even you know bad solder jobs that burn you quite badly actually um can turn out positive in some ways anyway i think i'm going to have some fun playing some xbox and i'll catch you all in the next video guys take care